At first, I was a little bit nervous. I didn't know how my body was gonna react. I had to put a positive mindset in it. By doing that, it, it takes away that doubt. You don't use shoes when you do cardio? <laughs> no. no, no shoes. 25 minutes, so uh, I know a lot of people will be uh, hate me for that, but uh, between my training and the way uh, nutritionally we, we play like a real, that's a fine line on my calories where, you know, I don't overeat to where I have to do a ton of cardio to try to compensate for the more calories. Um, so. That's one thing George does is feed me enough to keep me full, keep my uh, energy up in workouts, but not overfeed me where I have to do two hours of cardio. I don't know why, I, you know, I like being barefoot. I'm kind of, I'm not the guy that you know, walks everywhere barefoot, but when I'm home, I walk outside, walk, you know, be in the house barefoot and uh, I've kind of got that plantar fasciitis where my arch of my foot gets inflamed and it's actually very painful to do cardio and walk do stuff like that so doing it without shoes I have no pain and uh, I'm in my own house so I can do that and I keep my stuff clean so it's not like there's a bunch of people sweat all over it and uh, it's dirty so You know, I grew up playing sports. I grew up playing hockey, football. When I went into high school, I got in, the, my football coach at the time had a great, you know, there's a new coach into the school and they had a whole new program, a weightlifting program. And I got into that and I was like, man, this is, it became an addiction. <laughs> We started in the off season with Gina Davis and we kind of put together a plan. Uh, she put me through some different training styles through the off season uh, to kind of condition my body as we led into prep. All right, so each set, I do five sets per exercise and I'll be doing 10 seconds rest between each set. Um, so it's very fast paced and the only way to really uh, know is I keep time on my phone. So I open up my timer. Hit start, and then when I'm done with the set, I just add 10 seconds and know, hey, 10 seconds usually is about three or four breaths, and then it's time to rock and roll. <laughs> Ego check. My base was really built on heavy lifts. It was kind of like power building, if you want to call it that, where I did a lot of core type movements where it was like deadlift squat, uh, you know, heavy, heavy pressing stuff. And, and that's kind of where I built my core off of. And then, you know, through the years, what I've noticed really helped change my body was a lot of the volume training. And, you know, I did that through with Hani and, and, and experimenting things with myself and different training programs I kind of created was all volume based and I noticed, you know, if you could chase that pump, what everybody talks about, but it, it's getting the pump, getting as much blood nutrients in the muscle and then feeding it with the proper nutrition and the proper supplements. All those things work together after you train. For the prep, what I'm seeing from what I've done before is that it's really kind of conditioning me on top of what the diet and the cardio that I'm currently doing. It's not just like, oh, I gotta do more cardio to get into shape and I'm not relying on cardio to get into shape. 
It's a combo of all three that's really working. Same way, same way. I'm lifting at about 85% of what I could do if I took three, four minute rest periods between sets. And one of my goals this year is really just to bring a condition into another level and, and see a different mature look on my muscle. And I think the way we're training right now is really tapping into some muscle fibers and, and changing the shape of my muscle um, as I'm coming down for the show. And that's something I'm, I'm seeing and that the, the training style, I, I believe, is what's helping do that. Three more. That's it. That's almost a five minute set. Shit.